Quick shout out to all my patrons. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey y'all, it's Kate from the Literary Apothecary, and welcome back to another weekly reading, weekly reading vlog. Now today, I'm just going to update you on some reading updates and let you know what I'm reading at the start of this next week. Um, and then, as always, I will check in during the week and then check in again at the end of the week to let you know on my progress. So. First and foremost, this morning I finished The Strange Case of Elka's... So, first and foremost, I finished The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodore Goss this morning. This was such a fun book. I absolutely loved this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and I'll have a review coming soon for it. I just absolutely loved these characters, this story, the way it was told with the characters coming in in the middle of the text and talking. I just absolutely loved everything about this. And this is book one in a series. Um, and I can't wait to read the rest of the series because it set the, the series up so well. A lot of times writers will just start right where essentially book two starts where all of our characters are already together and they have this mystery to solve and whatnot um, but with this book one we get to know all of the characters individually and as a group and as they're getting to know each other and it really helps form a bond with the characters themselves and I can't wait to see where this series goes I'm so excited and this was such a brilliant idea. Theodore Goss has become maybe an autobi author for me. I just love it so, so much. So the rest of what I'm reading this week, um, I have gone ahead and bought the audiobook version of First Rider's Call so I can really make a progress on this. I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to see where it goes, but I need to it up on that so I can get on to book three which is what I'm supposed to be reading this month. Um, I'm still reading Waking Ursa Minor which I'm really really enjoying now. I'm getting to some good parts and I've been told just wait. Um, so I'm assuming that it gets even better. I'm still reading The Ember Blade and I'm coming to slowly coming near the end of that. Um, I am enjoying that, although not as much as I would have liked to. Um, what else am I reading? I just started today the audiobook for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which is Pub Order Book 2 in the Chronicles of Narnia series. That is part of my new series of videos, books my boyfriend gave me. Um, we'll have another video coming out soon on that. Um, and I'm just so enjoying Narnia. I didn't know I had this much nostalgia for this series um, and I think that's all I have right now I may start another audiobook soon um, we'll see the progress that I get in but that's it for now and I'll check in with y'all again very soon now before I get into my last update of the week i wanted to say hello and thank you to some of our new subscribers we had some new subscribers this week from some wonderful shout outs that josephine did on twitter for me thank you thank you thank you josephine so some new subscribers thank you to criminali may and sophia fletcher thank you guys so much for subscribing it really means the world to me that you all subscribed and come back and watch my videos Without you guys, I'd just be sitting here talking to myself. So thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Hey y'all, checking in for one last time this week. So it feels like I haven't really gotten any reading done, but I have. Um, as you know from watching this, I finished The Strange Case of Alchemist Daughter, which I absolutely loved. Five out of five stars, I believe I finished it this week. I don't know, all the days meld together. So if I finished it last week, I'm sorry for the repeat. One last, like I said, one last check-in for this week. So books that I'm currently reading and hope to make good progress and or finish this weekend. Um, the Ember Blade by Chris Wooding. Now, yes, I have been reading this book since January. This was my patron pick of the month in January by Andrew uh, Andrews Wizardly Reads. I am getting very close to the end, maybe like 200 pages from the end. And things are getting really interesting now. Um, 
So this is going to be my main focus this weekend. Let's just finish this off for the end of March so we can move on to the next read um, and try to get a little bit caught up this weekend. Um, also, what I'm still reading and hoping to make good progress is First Rider's Call, which is book two in the Green Rider series by Christian Britton. And this one I'm enjoying. I'm, so far, I have enjoyed book one more than book two, but I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see where it goes. And I really need to make progress on this so I can get to book three, which I will hopefully be in a live show in April um, with Josephine at Fine Reads. I am, this week I shift my focus to Anathem because I got the audiobook in from my library and I'm enjoying this a lot. I've finally reached the 50% mark. I think I'm about at about 53% right now. So I hope to get more read of that this weekend. Uh, I will hopefully finish listening to the audiobook of the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which is book two in the Chronicles of Narnia series, and the third video in my new video series, Books My Boyfriend Bought Me, uh, Books My Boyfriend Gave Me. I am really enjoying this reread of the Chronicles of Narnia. I haven't read it since I was a kid, so this has been really fantastic. Um, and this week I made a little bit of progress on Waking Ursa Minor. I'm really enjoying this book. It's just been really crazy busy at work this week. So I haven't got as much reading time done during the day, but I'm hoping that next week maybe will be a little bit quieter so I can get some more reading done and or my allergies will be better in check once I get allergy medicine this weekend so then I can focus better. Now that's what I've read this week. Um, let me know in the comments below what you what you enjoyed reading most this week, what you're looking forward to reading next week. Um, next week, I hope to start my next patron pick of the month once I finish the Ember Blade, which is Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas by James Patterson. This was picked back in February um, by Tara at Phase Red 84, and I it's a shorter book, especially compared to the Ember Blade. So I'm really hoping to knock this out next week. Um, what next week we'll see where the mood shifts because I have still a lot left on my quote March TBR, which will of course carry over into April and completely knock April's TBR into May and so forth and so forth. It's the domino effect. But now I'm rambling because I'm sorry if this made no sense at all. I'm riding that allergy high right now. The tree pollen is absolutely insane in North Carolina right now and it's get, driving me crazy. I feel like I'm floating in a cloud um, and I have no idea half the stuff that I'm saying right now. So I hope that all of this has made sense. Again, let me know what you read this past week, what you're looking forward to reading next week. Um, keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.